here's an update on my Vortex J tube stove. I've done a few modifications, but basically it's an experiment to show how it works with and without the little vortex piece. You can see here, I've just put a little bit of vermiculite to cause a spin. Um, here you can see the chamber with the little bits of metal to keep the wood contained within the chamber. And here's a picture showing the, the double glazed glass front, yeah. which is the air supply. So, okay, so literally just a few minutes after I lit the fire, literally, I don't know, two, three minutes at the most, I close the lid and I've got my temperature gauge. We can see the vortex is really going mad already. And if I move my gun, um, if I can get my gun to work now, you can see we've got to 410, 418 within three minutes. I mean, the fan's not even turning fast yet. Quite impressive. It definitely seems to make a difference with the vortex. So you can see the fire's been burning for about 15 minutes and the flames are definitely quite clearly coming out the top of the riser. Not something that happened without the vortex piece in place. I just took another reading and we're over 500 degrees C that. It's over 1000 Fahrenheit. Okay, so you can see that the flames hitting the glass on top and the vortex makes a considerable difference. It seems to make the flames leap out the riser we give it a temperature check and we're 480 um, in the middle 497 so pretty much 500 degrees and then the edges uh, slightly less of course i don't really know if the flames coming up the riser caused by the vortex is of any benefit it might make the fire burn slightly less clean i don't know anyway thanks for watching when the night's drawing and they get stark, we might have some special effects, so look out for another video.